The memories of men are too fragile a thread to hang history from. The West that was is different than what we see from a movie seat. Out there is great beauty, yes, but how can you show a land sometimes so tough it could make a stone sick? The Old West was America's forge, and the pioneers who passed through it had spirits of hammered steel. They were common people, made uncommon by hardship, endlessly thumped by noise and wind and dust. They felt a kinship with the dust. It surrounded them as alone, the ragged, rusty row threaded across the plains. Of all the western trails, none was more unusual or more special than this. A hundred and five years after its opening, people still come. It is the ultimate romantic journey. They call it the Honeymoon Trail. Today, a portion of that trip is reenacted. And each year, there are still some young couples willing to test their love. I think there's very many snakes around here. Lisa Haven and Paul Reber set aside all the modern inconveniences to drop behind the painted mountains of their past. I just feel sorry for those women having to wear these long dresses and riding horses. If they only knew of Levi's then, they would have just <laughs> changed for sure. I know they would have. Lisa and Paul are Mormons. When the Mormons first settled in Arizona, the closest temple was 400 miles away in St. George, Utah. So each fall, after the harvest, young couples would get up a wagon train and head off to get married. And I could hear him scratching down the side of that box. The past is part of a thousand winds that blow out here. Memories shorten the long hours. I could feel the blood running down over my chest and I knew if he reached any farther, he was going to kill me, and I woke up and found I'd been dreaming. Batteries helped, too. Once upon a time, there was a young girl who was so beautiful that everybody called her beauty. Dreams are the tickets that take folks through the night. The challenge of the trail, the hard knocks, seem to seal the marriages stronger than ever. What? There are few divorces. Lisa and Paul have learned this is not just a trip into the past. This is a big one. It is a trip into themselves. <laughs> you know, you read about pioneers coming across the plains in covered wagons and hand carts, but you don't really have a feel for it until you ride one of those for four or five straight hours. It gets you worn down, tired, wind burn, sunburn, hungry. It gives you a better feeling of what they went through. Never smile into the dust. No, never smile. Mm -mm. <laughs> I've got sand in between my teeth. Bad. <laughs> All right, get up. Come on. The journey to the temple takes five days. 70 miles. Five days. It is still tough. One morning was spent going 1,500 feet. Most of it straight down. Put on your brake. Oh, I'll build you a nice house someday. The caravan entered St. George through the modern tunnels of the interstate. My eyes hurt. Back under the golden arches of civilization. I'm used to too many comforts. Dogs ran out to bark, then kept a puzzled pace with wheels not made of rubber. Trail-weary faces were shown round like merit badges. <laughs> and the procession looked for all the world like Cinderella's coach. Everybody's out their way. At a minute past midnight. She and the prince lived happily ever after. Now I feel like going to sleep. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, St. George, Utah.